talked about stack effect um, and neutral plane. So neutral plane is where it's equal in a uh, in a compartment. Um, a compartment can be an almost an over not almost a compartment can be an overall building. Um, so stack effect is where that the pressure it's a phenomenon in the building um, which is caused by that temperature difference between your inside and your outside air. So in a stack, a long connecting shaft in a building. You know, we have our floor to floor here. And all vertical shafts in the building have an upward or positive airflow when the outside is cooler than the inside air, and a downward a negative airflow when the outside air is hotter than the inside air. Um, the pressure will change along the length of the sta sh sorry, sh shaft, excuse me, and that pressure will be more or less than the surrounding building area. So when it's traveling up and out, um, when it's the outside air is cooler than the inside air, so your warm air is rising, the lower floors will be over pressurized compared to the shaft, will have air creep in, and the upper floors will have the air being pushed into the floors. At that area where they're equal, there's no pressure change, it's called your neutral plane. Uh, this can greatly affect your performance of your system, um, and it can change on a floor to floor basis. And then coming into this correlates with, so the, the understanding of stack effect that your a vertical shaft will have a pressure differential and that can, that can change pressurization across the building because that's the only place in the building where you're gonna have an unconstrained um, warm air rise, cool air fall sensation, which helps transfer air from surrounding in the building, surrounding floors on the building. Um, which correlates to the next section, which is sterile pressurization, we'll talk about in a couple of slides. So stack effect naturally I mentioned it has a calculation. Um, very similar, <laughs> quite similar to the um, to the previous one we were talking about buoyancy, because it is just buoyancy in the a larger sense in a shaft. So again, your constant the temperature of the outside and the temperature of the shaft and the distance above the neutral plane. Or, depending on where you're doing um, reverse stack effects, you may be expected to have downflow, down, downward airflow happening in the shaft. So all pressure coming out of here is relative based on that neutral plane. So if, for example, if you have like a 200 foot shaft, and the neutral plane's at that mid-height. So if you're on your 200 foot shaft, your neutral plane is right here. A max pressure difference of like 0.24 inches means the top of the shaft is 0.24 inches greater than the outside, where the bottom would have a pressure of negative 0.24 compared to the outside. So positive pressure out of this means it's more than the outside and negative means it's less than the outside in, in comparison. And then you can locate that neutral plane by this equation. If you know the height of your stair, if you know that temperature in the stairwell, again, your degrees ranking, don't forget that, I didn't put the 460 on here, but that's what's there, and your temperature outside, you can actually get the height of the stairwell. And keep in mind, I said in my example, we showed in the other one that the neutral plane's in the middle. The neutral plane is not always in the middle, it's rarely in the middle. Sometimes it's close, but it can be very low, it can be very high. Do not go into a problem expecting your neutral plane. If you have a 160 foot building, your neutral plane to be at 80 feet. You know, it, it's all depending on the temperatures, the height of the, and the height of the stairwell. 